All right, so we got a new engine in the truck now. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. I'm straight capping. There's a Mero ZL1. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Oh. Yes, sir. I need, I need to get me I need to get me a sports car. I need to get me another sports car. I sell drugs. Escalator or some shit? Oh, fuck that shit. Uh, <laughs> Escalator V? Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I only got 22 miles. Come on, guys. You know what? Bring the the 6x6 six Hennessy six, uh, Raptor. Bring yeah, a, bring, a hey, bring a Brabus 6x6. Six Right there. Uh, it's <laughs> it's, it's set out of service though. Huh? No, it's said it's it's set out of service though. Okay. Yeah, on the side. Just wait for it to turn. Yeah. All right. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> I'll scratch it. I'll scratch the lid. <laughs> Pops all good. Should I get uh, all right, and now we're back in the truck. You guys saw that badass Camaro Z01. Um, pretty dope car. Not really a Camaro guy. I mean, as you guys know, I used to have a Mustang, so no, not really a Camaro guy, but I can definitely appreciate a great car. But anyways, what's up, guys? Welcome to this video. We hit 5,000 subscribers. Five thousand subscribers, like literally, I'm trying to imagine a room full with five thousand people right now, and it's mind blowing to me. Like I, I, I can't even believe it. I am truly so grateful for this, guys. I appreciate you guys, every single one of you, one hundred percent, for taking your time and hitting the subscribe button from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. This is a really big milestone. I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you guys for giving me this opportunity and space to show you guys what I love to do, which is automotive stuff, which you guys can see truck stuff in this case. But I have always wanted to be able to show everybody what my, how much of a passion I have for things with four wheels. Um, one day I would really love to make this my full-time job um, because trust me guys, I have so, 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 so many ideas in my head. Obviously, I just don't have the resources like all of these bigger channels, but trust me guys, with the stuff that I have done, I'm, I feel like I have proved to you guys with what, what I'm able to do in my own little bubble. Thinking outside of the box, can be a good thing and it's not always and it's not always something to, for it to be frowned upon um because yeah i mean I, I i would dare to say that i have a pretty unique truck build um i seriously think that the my truck has came a long way i got it 100 percent stock back in 2018 I didn't start making content with it until the beginning of 2022. 
I started YouTube off with my for some reason I have already had like 25 subscribers so started off 2022 with 25 subscribers started posting videos with this truck then um by the end of 2022 I was like at 900 something I officially hit a thousand subscribers in January of last year of 2023 I got monetized and then from there on it has just been growing and um yeah we recently just hit 5,000 subscribers about a week ago and I really cannot wait to see what the future holds for us and um yeah because trust me guys i have so many ideas in my head like you guys you guys can't even imagine like just trust me like just trust me on this one please um but yeah i would really love to bring you guys along with this journey and um for those of you if this is the first time watching i have a 2005 gmt sierra manual transmission tr 6060 um equal length exhaust you know you guys you guys can go check out some other videos so you guys can see but yeah um even though i said earlier i'm not a camaro guy but seeing that lt4 power plant up close with my own eyes excuse me was honestly special because like some of you guys know ultimately the ultimate goal for this truck would be to put an LT4 power plant on it. Um, and obviously the manual transmission and stuff. Kind of like what um, Justin from Streetcar Takeover does. I'll put a picture right here with, with his ZL1500 or his ZR1500. I would love to do something like this with this truck, but with my own twist. Um, because yeah, I, I love I, I just love the, the stuff that he has done with those trucks. But obviously, right now, that is quite a bit of a stretch because mm, realistically, I'd probably be spending like 25 to 30K on the lower end um, if I want to do everything right. So, no, that is not a viable option right now. Um, so, honestly, next step. It's probably going to be a boost district LSA supercharger for this truck coming sometime in the future. I'm not saying it's going to be like anytime like soon, 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 but also not too, too far away. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I could not wait to see what the future holds along for us for this channel. And uh, thanks to those who have stick through a journey and thanks to those who will stick through the journey. So, all right, guys, let's go on a drive for old time's sake.
don't even know. I honestly, oh, just listen to that. I find so much enjoyment from driving, listening to that. Oh, yeah.